Hi, my name is Rohit and I recently purchased a revived Preston in a resale from uh, the previous owner. I came to the UK along with my wife in 2016 to pursue my MBA uh, from University of Manchester. Before that, I was in India uh, for the better part of my life. I completed my undergrads in 2006, then I started my career with share markets, started my own franchise uh, in share markets trading. Then in 2010, I got an opportunity to study at one of the best universities in India, uh, University of Delhi, to do my Master in Business Economics. And then I started working with companies like Ernst & Young, uh, then moved into another company called Eli Global, worked in their M&A practice. I thought I'm not getting anywhere in my career, like it's uh, uh, sort of a dead end. Uh, I was mostly on the back, side, back end of the deal, so decided to come and do my international MBA and then in 2018 started working with a company called Dematic. Then I worked with a company called Cox Automotive and that's how I got introduced to the automotive sector. Then I started looking out for opportunities. Initially focus was on the education sector but then came across Revive Preston Resale. I uh, thought the numbers really uh, made sense, the uh, model was quite good, uh, searched about Revive and here we are. I bought the Revive Preston on 1st of August. You know, when starting your own business, there are a lot of things that you have to think about, like finance and marketing and all those different kind of things. And given that uh, franchising uh, has got most of those things sorted, and then, uh, you know, this is a proven business model. So I thought it's sort of an easy win, uh, but obviously, uh, it's easier said than done. Uh, you have to still apply yourself and everything. But uh, it takes care of a lot of unknowns. That's why uh, it ticked all the uh, boxes for me. And I came across uh, this franchise we sell on business for sale. Uh, Revive had a good brand name and everything. So I researched about the brand. I spoke to the uh, current owner. Uh, I spoke to Catherine. So yeah, w one thing led to another, but so yeah, here we are. So Revive, uh, as a franchisor, uh, have been quite uh, communicative from the uh, very get-go. You know, you have a proper method uh, of resale. It's not like you're giving out franchise to anyone and everyone whoever is looking for it. Uh, you want it uh, to have people associated or teams associated with you where you can uh, be proud of. And similarly, uh, for me as well, it's not me who is going into the business alone. And sometimes uh, if you are starting your own business, m most of the times you are alone uh, uh, at the top. And even if you have employees and everything, they, they are doing their operational bit. So over here, it's, it never feels like you're alone if you need any kind of support in any, uh, any of the activities like marketing, social media, finance, you can ask questions. And more likely than not, you are going to get uh, answers very quickly. I think the sale process was quite uh, convenient even after the deal has been completed. It's not like I'm not able to reach out to Mike, uh, the previous owner. Uh, so uh, I think whatever information I asked for, I was provided. The money that I'm paying uh, and the uh, value I'm getting is definitely m making sense. So both in terms of return on investment as well as in terms of uh, the value that I can create through this uh, looked quite lucrative and uh, has been uh, good so far. So just to give you, give a context, my first month was pretty good, like one of the best months that Revive uh, Preston had in the entire year. So yeah, very happy. Sale process took roughly around three, three and a half months. I'm still talking to Mike. Uh, so it's not like uh, he has just, you know, sold it to me and, uh, you know, said me goodbye. It's like, I'm still having those conversations. If I need any kind of support, I can rely on him and as well as on the uh, rest of the network. So uh, that, that's always a good thing. My first month training was quite good. At least I knew the entire process. I still have to remember the steps and all, but I painted the uh, panel myself, which was funny at the same time, uh, a bit cumbersome. It gave me an idea that how uh, technically well versed um, my technicians have to be uh, all the time you know quite vast training and I think that's the benefit of having a franchise model that you guys know from your experience for over 20 years that 
what works, what doesn't work, what needs to be told uh, at the, on the day one. It's not always a rosy picture when it comes to, you know, dealing with a different set of employees or technicians or something like that. There was an adjustment period uh, and I have realized from my experience within Modern Acquisition that you have to give some time to get acclimatized to the operations, to the employees and not everyone is susceptible to change. Initially, it took some uh, challenges, but uh, uh, the good thing that I was able to overcome was like, I just dealt with the situation calmly and uh, I was very communicative both to my employees and even to re uh, revive as a franchisor, going in the right direction. My short term plan is uh, obviously to understand the business furthermore and build a relationship with the dealerships uh, in, in the region and uh, hire one more technician. So that's the short term plan. Uh, medium term would be in next one year uh, also, I'll have another technician in the medium term uh, to have four technicians and a retail sales advisor. Once we have a successful business model, uh, rinse and repeat the success into uh, the nearby areas as well.